called Michael Stoney wrote that letter. At the time that the Select Committee accepted that letter as evidence, Michael Stoney had been struck off from the Institute of Chartered Accountants for providing false information, <laughs> and this was the man they believe. So we thought we should write into the Select Committee and tell them, because maybe they don't know. Maybe they weren't aware of this. All we're after, remember, we just want to see Jeffrey get the 200 grand. <laughs> That's what we want. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to make a guess of how much Jeffrey actually paid for his mortgage. What's the Jeff mortgage? It could be 400 grand, couldn't it? It could be, what have we got here? It could be 1.25 million, could be 1.75 million, it could be 1.75 million, couldn't it? <laughs> Now, we're not sure, so we thought what we should do is we want to try and help Jeffrey so much that we can pay that mortgage off. And we thought, well, I know, let's put, let's put 500 quid on a bookies <laughs> that Jeffrey's mortgage is 1.75 million. That's what we'll do. Um, so we're going to be trying to place that bet in the next couple of days. Now, we, we fancy our chances on this. We do fancy our chances because just before Christmas, we made a little bet. Right, I want to put a bet on Geoffrey Robinson resigning. Right. Now, what odds are you going to give us on? We put two dates on these. We've right. got two dates. One on the 13th of January, one on the 3rd of March. 13th of January, we're offering you four to one. He's got to be out of office by the 13th of January. Right. If it goes by the 3rd of March, you've got even money. Oh. I'm going to split this. I've got 200 quid here. Can I, I'm, I'm going to split. Can I put... OK, you've got 100 pounds on yeah. that he leaves office by the 13th of January. Right. And 100 pounds of even money that he leaves office by the 3rd of March. Here's our letter confirming that we placed the bet with them, which we received the next day in the post. Um, we also received a phone call because Geoffrey resigned that day. <laughs> Thank you ever so much for that. My absolute pleasure. Um, here we are, £500. One on the misery of Geoffrey Robinson. Do you know, it really feels good. <laughs> we thought, well, we can't just take the money. So we thought, let's... let's we, we should give it to someone. We should give the money to someone who actually needs the money. We're outside the, the Grosvenor House Hotel. This is where Geoffrey Robinson's got a penthouse suite on permanent standby. And uh, with me is Ivy Needham. Uh, Ivy, you actually led the Maxwell Pensioners Group campaign from Leeds, didn't you? I did. I led it from my own council house, not a penthouse suite. Well, what we've got here is this is the money that we made on the bet with Geoffrey Robinson. I think we're going we're gonna to try and get through now to the Grosvenor House Hotel and see if Geoffrey's in and see if you can have a quick word I'd with like him. I'd like to have a word with him, if okay, possible. Okay, let me just... I'm sorry, the guest you are calling is currently unavailable to take your call. If you wish to leave a message, dial to now or hold for operator assistance. Okay, Ivy, now's your chance to leave a message for Geoffrey Robinson. Good afternoon, Mr Robinson. I'm sorry I'm unable to speak to you today. I've come all the way from Leeds. I'm a registered landlady and I've come along with my guide dog and I'm wondering if you can help... The next day in the office, we got a phone call from Ivy. I've just been on the phone to Geoffrey Robinson for half an hour. <laughs> I chewed his ear off. I asked him all sorts of questions. At one point, I said, I knew that Robert Maxwell. I met him and he was a rogue. <laughs> I think he was a bit taken aback. And she said, I, anyway, I explained, his, I explained all about the money and I said, oh, Channel 4 have given me this money because they made it on a bet that you'd resign. And what I'm going to do with this money is I'm going to donate it to the registered guide dogs societies so someone else can get a guide dog so they can get the gift of sight. And, when, and he said, that was lovely, that was very good. And I said, and when we come to the naming ceremony, I'm going to call this one Geoffrey. <laughs> <laughs> And Mark is back at the later time of 5 past 11 next Wednesday, here on 4. On and yes, we've just begun.